What's up you guys? Welcome to this week's challenge. We're going to be doing an alignment lab, talking about those really common yoga poses that are in almost every single yoga class that you take. Before we get started on any actual poses, I wanted to talk about our posture. So your posture is incredibly important in yoga as it is just out in the real world. Um, if you can, I would recommend either recording yourself so you can see your natural stance or I recommend doing this in front of a mirror so that you can kind of notice what your natural body's posture is. So try not to force anything here so you can really take note of how you normally stand. I'm going to turn to the side so that you can see what I'm talking about. We're just going to flat our arms, flail down by the sides, just roll out the shoulders, wiggle out the legs, roll out the neck if you need to. Maybe close the eyes and just stand here. Trying not to force anything. The purpose of this exercise is to notice our natural tendencies. So blink the eyes open if your eyes are closed and check your body out in your mirror or in the phone. Now, it's super common, especially in the yoga world, to pop the booty out and splay the ribs open. Now what this is doing is you're exaggerating the natural curve of the low back and you're putting a little pressure there. So if you do have low back pain, this could be the cause of it. The other thing I see a lot is people rounding the shoulders forward. We have basically reset our posture for those of you who are sitting at a desk or driving a lot of the time during your days you might find that this is your body's natural tendency to round. So we just need to reset that. The other thing I want you to notice is how your hips are set. So a lot of times I'll see people either sliding to one side or the other. Um, we're standing in lines a lot right now, right? At the grocery store. Notice as you're out and about how we're normally standing and what that stance looks like. So if you're popping one hip up or if you have a kiddo on the hip, you're messing with the alignment of the pelvis. So what we want to do, again, I'm going to turn to the side, is just a slight tuck of the tailbone underneath us. Notice if the shoulders are rounding forward, we're going to soften them back. If they're pressing back and you're creating this like big back bend and splaying the ribs open, just kind of counter that. We're trying to find, I like to think of our setup here like tub aware, our head directly over the rib cage and the rib cage is directly over the pelvic bowl. So it's just stacked one on top of the other. Now we're gonna move into a mountain pose with the arms by our sides. So this is basically just standing. Let the shoulders soften down and flip your palms forward. You may have a little bit of a bend in the elbows. Now again, notice the natural tendency here. If you're noticing you're sticking the butt out or if you're creating a back bend or notice if you're kind of rounding here. That mirror is a great tool for you to use, especially as we move through the rest of this series here so you can actually see what your alignment looks like. Now trying to keep the ribs pulling together and back. So nothing's gonna change here in the torso. Just start to reach the arms up. Now as you move into your extended mountain pose, I see a lot of times we create that back bend because it does feel kind of good. But for this purpose, draw the ribs back. Notice the shoulders, let them slide down. Often you might notice that your shoulders are creeping up towards the ears and you're reaching up towards the fingers here. We're you want to create space in the neck. Now don't worry about plugging the shoulders down. When you go to reach for something, you don't plug the shoulder down first before you try to reach for it, right? You'll make it harder for yourself. But just let them soften down your back. And then last thing, if your arms are creeping forward in your peripheral vision, try to draw them back next to the biceps or just slightly nestle them behind the ears. Now see if you can keep that nice long spine, take a breath in, maybe reach a little bit taller. Micro bending through the knees, try not to lock those out. Take a big breath in. And then as you exhale, just release your hands by your sides. All right, guys, really nice. Mountain pose is in almost every single one of the postures that we do in yoga. So super important to start with that one. We're now going to move into a halfway lift. All right, you guys, so for our halfway lift, we're actually gonna start seated. Well, find the wall or maybe that mirror that you were utilizing and try to press your hips all the way back into the wall. We're gonna extend the legs forward in front of us with a little bit of a bend to the knees. And then again, notice your natural posture. So take a hand to your low back. It's okay to have a little bit of space there, but notice if you have a lot and the ribs are trying to press forward. See if you can slightly tuck the tailbone underneath you, finding that 
level pelvic bowl. If the shoulders are rounding forward, think about pressing them back into the wall and then try to rest the back of your skull on the wall as well. So noticing here your neck is not touching the wall. Your upper back, your shoulders should be pressed back. If you feel here that you're trying to stick the ribs out as you're finding a surface behind you, try to draw them back. And rather than thinking of peeling yourself away from the wall, think about pressing yourself into the wall. Let your hands rest lightly on your thighs. Flex your toes back towards your face. A little bit of a bend in the knees is fine here if that feels better on your hamstrings. Now this here is our halfway lift. We're gonna take high halfway lifts for the purpose of this series. So your hands will always be rested on your thighs rather than the shins. Notice your head. A lot of times as we move into our halfway lift, our head tends to fall off the body. So you're still going to press the head back so it's directly over the shoulders when you get to standing. Notice your head directly over your ankle. To find that alignment when we start to stand, we'll really start to engage the core. So here while you're seated, pull that belly back towards the wall. Again, imagine that you're trying to press into the wall, like disappear into it, rather than pull your body away from it. All right, you guys, we're gonna get to standing, halfway lift. So we'll come to our, our uh, mountain pose first, reaching the hands up. And then we'll take a forward fold and release it down. Take a moment here if you need to. Warm up the legs, sway the hips from side to side. And then keeping the hands either on the ground or on a prop if you have it, I want you to start to play with shifting the weight forward and back. So the idea here is to find that sweet spot where the hips are directly over the ankle. Spider tipping or tenting the hands on the ground. Drawing the low belly up and in. Now try to keep that alignment. You're gonna shift the weight just slightly forward into the balls of the feet. So the heels are not lifted, they're still pressing down. But that shift of the weight forward is going to help you activate the core. Slowly begin to draw your hands to the upper thigh. See if you can keep the hip directly over the ankle. Notice right away if your booty is pressing back and you've got more weight in the heels, try to counter that by shifting forward. Our gaze is straight down, the neck is long, the head is not falling off the body, we're pressing the back of the skull towards the ceiling tiles. Imagine that your back is pressed up against that wall, so you're trying to find that same alignment. Low belly's in, your ribs are knit together and pressing back towards the spine. Let's take a breath in, press the palms into the thighs, and we'll forward fold on the breath out. Moving into our tabletop, again, try to find that mountain pose in your torso. One at a time, come down to the knees. Our shoulders are over the wrist. Your hips are over your knees. Whatever feels best on the kneecaps, you guys, if your knees are tender, I recommend pressing the toes down and press into the shins. So that'll take a little pressure off the kneecap. Now, same thing here. Notice if the head is starting to fall off the body, lift the crown of the head up so you're reaching the crown of the head forward. Notice the shoulders. If your chest is dipping down and you're hugging the shoulder blades towards one another, I want you to try to press into the hands a little bit more so that you can feel a slight spread of the shoulder blades across the upper back. Now look down at your hands. I'm going to come out of tabletop so I can show you Hasta Banda. So Hasta Banda is the lock of the palm. This will come in handy as we start to move into our plank later in the series. So spreading the fingers really, really wide, all the way down to the webbing, as wide as you possibly can. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult to find your hand lock. We want the fingers really wide. With your hands pressing into the ground, I want you to press into the fingertips and the low knuckle. So not the middle knuckle, but the low knuckle. This middle knuckle might lift a little bit off of the ground, and you might feel a little bit of air between the earth and the palm. That is the lock of the hands, or hasta banda, that will keep you from putting too much pressure on the wrist. So if you need to come in and out of this pose a couple of times, rolling out the wrist, and then come back into your tabletop, find the hasta banda. You're pressing into those fingertips and the low knuckles. So your middle knuckles might lift up. Your belly's drawing up and in. The tailbone is reaching behind you. Neck is nice and neutral. Hold for the breath in. And then on the breath out, go ahead and sit your hips back to the heels. Scoot your arms forward and come into a nice resting pose. 
Now feel free to play around with those poses a couple more times before we move into our second stay of the series. We will be moving into plank pose. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks guys.